Hello everyone, welcome to Eptech Knowledge. This is Yamin, and today I'll show you how we can uh, edit or update data in Laravel. Okay, so uh, as you can see, we have name, email, and photo over here. So I'll show you how we can update this uh, name, email, and photo. So for this, the first thing we are going to do is that we are going to have a edit button over here. Okay, so let's go to our code. So this is our code uh, where uh, I am showing all those data from here. Uh, you can see uh, inside of uh, for each loop, uh, you can see ID, name, email, and the file, uh, which is actually our image. And uh, over here, you can see a delete button. Okay, this is where uh, I am showing all, uh, all those data. Okay, so the uh, first thing we are going to do is uh, we are going to add a edit button so for this i am just going to copy it control c and control v now we are going to say over here edit okay and uh, let's say over here btn success okay now let's just uh, remove this part for now okay control s now let's see uh, how it looks let's refresh okay we now have a edit button over here so when someone click edit button then it will take us to another page where it will show all those data name email and photo and from there we can edit our data okay so uh, let's go to our code now over here we need to create a route control c control v now over here we will say uh, edit page edit page okay and it will uh, take the id from here and it will uh, show the data uh, from that uh, specific uh, id to this edit page okay so we don't have this route uh, we need to create this route so we need to go inside route and then web.php so I'm just going to copy this one and paste it over here so route get and our URL name was edit page right so I'll just copy it and paste it over here and we need to give uh, it a function name so I'll say over here function name will be edit page as well okay and we also need to mention our here id okay so uh, when someone uh, click this edit button it will send id to our route okay and our route will send this id to the controller uh, which name is update data controller okay so we need to go inside this controller and create this uh, function so let's go to controller which is inside app http controller over here you can see update data controller so let's click it and let's uh, create our function so let's say public function edit page okay sorry edit page and inside it we need to write id so it will cache our id okay then we need to declare a variable so we will say dollar data is equal to uh, we need to write our uh, table name over here which is personal which is our table name uh, okay i'll show you my table over here right now now this is my table name here you can see name email and file file is actually image okay uh, and this is where i am showing uh, all those data actually okay so let's go back to our code uh, and one more thing uh, we need to add model our table model over here like this use app slash model slash personal okay you need to add the model uh, inside this like header part kind of thing okay so over here you need to write find 
dollar id okay now you just need to return the view return view now let's say it will uh, return view to edit page now we don't have edit page we need to create this page with the data of of this data okay so what will happen is that uh, when someone click this edit page it will send this id to our route and our route will send this id to our controller and our controller will uh, send the data of the of that certain id to our edit page okay so let's save it and so now we need to create edit page okay so we'll go inside views and over here i'll just right click and click new file and over here we'll create edit page dot blade dot php so control s and then save okay so over here i will say html over here let's say edit page or update page now we want to show all our data uh, let's say in the center so i'll just say center and then let's say h on again again edit page edit page okay now let's try to uh, show a data so in order to show data we need two second bracket and then dollar data uh, which is uh, this one dollar data we are sending uh, all those data to our edit page so dollar data and uh, you can see uh, in, a, in my database that we have a column called name right so dollar data name so let's save it and let's check if it works or not let's refresh and click edit okay we can uh, get the name over here okay so let's just uh, give it a good look so let's say over here uh, level level name now over here we will have a input field type will be text and name equal name and uh, the value will be uh, this one dollar data name okay so let's save it and i'm going to copy it and paste it over here and instead of name this time we'll use email which is this one email email and the type will be email name equal email and uh, data equal email okay so let's save it and i'm going to add a br over here just to create some gap so let's save it and uh, let's refresh okay you can see over here that we have name and email field uh, and we are getting the data from the database now let's add our image over here so for adding image uh, let's just copy the image part from here i'll just copy it and uh, paste it over here control v Okay, uh, here you can see that our image is inside a short inside public folder short as uh, dollar data file i will show you inside public here you can see a shortest folder inside this we are actually saving all our images okay so uh, let's also add br over here as well okay let's save it and let's refresh again now we are getting the image so now let's uh, add a level let's say over here change 
image and then uh, we will add a input field input type will be file and uh, name will be file as well let's save it and then uh, let's add br i'm just going to copy it now let's add a uh, submit button over here input type will be submit and let's say the value will be update okay so let's save it and let's refresh okay right now we have a uh, change image option over here uh, from if we click it uh, we can change image and then an update option if you click uh, okay so right now we need to add form in this page so i will add form over here i'm just going to cut it and uh, paste it over here after submit control s and then uh, inside this form i will say uh, action and then method after this uh, it will be enc type since we are adding file and okay that's all enc type will be multi part form data okay and the method will be post since we will be sending data to the database and we need to add a route over here so we will say url and then inside it we will say update and we also need to send the id so for this we need to write dollar data id okay and uh, one more thing we need to add a token so for this we need to write at the rate of csrs okay control s and uh, we need to create this uh, route over here inside web.php so again i am just going to copy it and paste it over here and this time it will be post instead of get okay so let's write post over here and uh, our url name is update okay so let's we'll just write over here update and we will use the same controller and let's change the function name to update okay so let's save it so let me explain it again so when someone click the uh, submit button i mean the update okay it will uh, send the id to our route and our route will send this id to our controller okay so we need to create this function right now so let's go to our controller and then let's say over here public then function update and inside this update we need to say request dollar request then dollar id it means it will catch the id and uh, over here we need to again do the same thing uh, the way we did over here just say dollar data equal personal then find dollar id okay and uh, right now i'm just going to copy a little code from here uh, Control C, Control V. Now this part is for our images actually. So what will happen that it will uh, request the image file, okay? Then uh, then it will save it uh, inside shortest, okay? Then uh, the data will be same in our database, okay? And right now we will say dollar data 
name is equal to I think it's a dollar request dollar request name and again I just copy it and uh, paste it over here for email okay email and uh, email so it will uh, save our name update our name and update our email after this just dollar data save that's all Now we'll just return and I just copy this part from here. I sometimes do mistake and paste over here. Okay, so uh, let me explain it again uh, so that you can understand it very easily. Uh, when someone click the update button, it will send the ID to our route which is this one and our route will send this id to our controller and our controller will uh, get the id and find the specific data and uh, change the email name and email and then save it into our database okay so that's all so let's uh, go to our code let me just uh, save it again just to be sure Okay, uh, let's refresh. Uh, let's go back first. Okay, now let's click edit. Let's change the data. Here we'll say uh, Captain America. And let's uh, change the email to Captain and uh, let's keep the image the way it is. Let's just click update. Okay, now let's go back. Here you can see uh, our name and email change. Okay, this time we will also uh, change the image as well. Okay, so I will say just captain over here. And over here I will again add America. And I will change the image this time. Okay, let's choose the image from here. Uh, let's see, we have another Captain America. Okay, uh, let's just uh, choose a Hulk this time. Okay, so let's open and click update. Okay, our image is changed and so as all the data so again I just uh, go back and check if it changed over there okay it also changed over here okay so that's how you can uh, update or edit data in Laravel I tried to explain it as much as possible but if you have any problem then let me know in the comment section I will surely surely reply you back and if you face any problem I will uh, give you a solution and if you want to support me, uh, then please uh, like this video and subscribe this channel. Thank you very much for watching this video.